Good morning and it is a day later than I wanted it to be. I've got a guest here and she's doing my head in. This is Aria. Um, right, go on down. Um, my name is Emma here if you're new and I do Slimming World at home. Yesterday should have been my weigh-in update and I usually post a video up every Tuesday of my weigh-in but I just wasn't in the mood to be honest with you. So I didn't. I just... Took the day off. Well, I've actually took a couple of days off. Uh, if you're going to mess about, you're going to... Look at your ear. Um, right, go lie down. Um, I forgot what I was going to say there. I don't know. Um, yeah, so you usually post on a Saturday. Or it's not Saturday. <laughs> See what Arya's done with me. Um, she's going home tomorrow. There. Um, Erin and Daryl and their other halves are in Amsterdam for four days. So I have Miss Aria. I've had her since Monday morning because their flight was at 10 o'clock. So they left here at seven, I think it was. Yeah. And she's a very hyper pup. <laughs> she's about 10, 11 weeks old, or 10, 10 or 11 months old. And she's very hyper. She doesn't walk anywhere, she just runs all over the place. I look very tired today, as you can see. Um, yeah, so I usually post my video, my way in videos every Tuesday, but as I say, it's a day late, so I just, I, I just, I, I just wasn't in the mood yesterday, so I didn't. So it's a wee day late, but better late than ever, eh? So going back to last week, I did hit my 30 mile ta walking target. I had done 34 last, 34 points something or other. I posted it on my Instagram. And yeah, so I had walked most days. I didn't walk on Saturday and I didn't walk on Sunday. Saturday, I just thought I'd have a wee day off. And Sunday, I was in work all day. So I still hit my, I think it was just shy of my 10,000 steps. I think it was 9,000. 800 and something I think I'm not sure but I hit my 30 mile target which was good um my friend she was away sunning herself in Lanzarote for a week so I'm walking with her tomorrow just one second apologies for that that was Ned ringing me um yeah so I hit my 30 mile target which was great I am pleased to hear that yeah my friend she was selling herself in sunny Lanzarote while I was walking in the, well, it wasn't really raining, but it was frost and snow and ice. Um, my friend had actually bought me, do you know the wee things you put over your shoes um, to help you grip in the ice? So I had put those on for two or three days to help me round the lane where I walk. Because it's quite icy around there. It doesn't get uh, gridded or anything with a gritter. So just the main road around here kind of. So yeah, that was fun. And even in some places I actually slipped with those on my feet. Um... So it just shows you how slippy it actually was. Um, eating wise, hmm. it was oh no, it wasn't okay. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's Aaron has messaged me now in Amsterdam from Amsterdam. Um, Tuesday I think was okay. I've got started a new book, so I can't look at. I forgot to bring the other book in. I think Tuesday was okay. Wednesday was okay. Thursday was my birthday, so. Erin and Daryl took me out for my dinner to a, a local restaurant. Well, it was about a couple of miles down the road. Went there and I had whatever I wanted, basically. Um, I had a beef and bird, sizzling beef and bird and peppered sauce. And I had some skinny fries with it. And then I had a pint of Magners and a wild berry cheesecake, I think it was. So I had it. Came home, didn't have any cake because I was absolutely stuffed. Oh my God, I look so tired today. <laughs> Apologies. Um, yeah, didn't have any cake whenever I came home because I was absolutely stuffed. Friday, I had cake. So Friday was over since Saturday. Me and Ned went to the cinema and watched Megan, which was a load of rubbish. And we went to a restaurant in the Omniplex where we went to. It was the Blue Bear Grill, I think it was called. It was gorgeous. It was really nice. I had, uh, what did I have? 
I had fajitas, which they were lovely, and then I had pavlova afterwards. Went to the cinema, let that settle down a bit because we had about 45 minutes to kill, but it was just across the road, so we just stay, stay, or sat in the foyer bit of the cinema. So we went there, and I had a medium popcorn. Ned had about 20 bits out of it, and I had the rest. Came home and had sweets. Erin, she had bought me a, a box of Lindor, you know, the red balls. So I had about three or four of them because they are quite, uh, not sickening, but they are quite filling. So I only had about four of those and then I think I had other sweets. I bought Alex um, a pick a mix thing in the cinema. So I had a couple of, I only had like two sweets out of it. Then that was Saturday. Sunday, I was in work all day. So in work, I was absolutely fine. Halo glowing in work. And then I came home and had, what did I have for dinner? I had a Chinese chicken curry that I got out of work one day. It was um, a 30p bargain thing. So I had it. Ned thought there was rice in it, but there wasn't rice in it. So I just had the sauce and there was probably enough for two people there. So I ate it. And then I had sweets afterwards. And yesterday, no, not yesterday, Monday, I had, I was good all day on Monday, was it? I can't remember. I didn't even write it down, so maybe it mightn't have been. No, it wasn't good on Monday. I was okay, breakfast, lunch. And dinner, what did I have on dinner Monday? Can't remember. Yesterday I weighed myself and I put three pounds on, which isn't too bad considering what I ate. I treated myself to a fry yesterday morning because it's right and I need to get this out of my system. <clears throat> so I had a fry, got I went down to the Euros bar where I work in the village there. Got a fry out of it and well, it was actually potato bread, two bits of potato bread, two bits of soda bread, and two bits of vegetable roll, because that's all I had really left of the fry bit. So I had it, and I had one a £10 voucher in work um, with a tell us first thing. If you get four mentions in a month, then you get a £10 voucher, so I got it. Bought myself uh, the actual boxes here. Bought myself a box of... Ferrero Rocher, you know, the dark ones and the coconut and the ordinary ones. At there was eight left last night, and Alex had about four of them, so there was about 12 left. So I ate Alex and they had about this much, they had about 12, and I ate the rest of them because her and she says, I was going to buy a Ferrero Rocher for your birthday, but there wasn't any in the shop. In her shop so then that put me in the, my head that for a rocher so i went and bought myself treated myself well work bought me because it was my voucher um had that yesterday while i was watching innocent on netflix so that's out of my system now i don't have anything until ned's birthday which is the 27th of february so my plan is to lose eight pound by his birthday, which is pretty doable. Um, if I stay in plan, um, she's going to, she's just spotted something. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and lose eight pound for till eight pound. Oh, my head's went blank. My <laughs> I want to lose eight pound by his birthday. That's what I was going to say. So I think that's pretty, pretty doable. Um, as long as I stick to plan and do my walks, um, I'm going to try and walk every day. I'm going to have one day of rest, which will be the Saturday. And then Sunday, I will be working all day. So I'll not be able to... Oh, my God, my eyes. All I can see is my eyes and that the viewfinder but which isn't doesn't look good but anyway um 
Yeah, so I worked all day on Sunday, so I'm not going to be working, walking that day. I near enough do my 10,000 steps anyway on Sunday, so it's not really, it doesn't really bother that. Not much. But on the Monday till Friday, I want, want to do all my walking. Next week, I have to go to the hairdressers, so I'll have to walk down to the train station for it. So it's about a mile and a half. I might get a taxi home because it always bloody rains whenever I get my hair done. And then I'm working on Wednesday night, so yeah, I don't really, I don't really walk whenever I'm working, but I need to get at least eight pound off by the 27th of February. So yeah, that's my plan. I forgot to show me my, my heart. Yeah, as I said, I was 14.3 last week, so I put three pound on this week. So I'm more or less halfway. If you're new here, I started at 17, 12. I had got down to 10, 12 at one stage, but that was like for a week and then kind of went up and up and up since then. So that was 2020. Yeah, so I've kind of put on a wee bit more. So hopefully this year I get back down to target, which my target is 11, 5. So I'm going to try and get back down there again by... The end of the summer, shall we say? Yeah, we'll say that. That is three stone I have to lose. So, February, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, end of July, start, uh, start of August. So hopefully, I'll get back down to the 11 5 again. So, that's three stone I have to lose. So, I need to try and get my head back into that uh, frame of mind again. Um, was there anything else? I to, oh yeah, I took this really funny thing in work on Sunday. I have had migraines, daily migraines for I'd say, Daryl's 23 this year and he was in first year in school. So that's five, four, eight, about ten years ago. Um, and I get migraines all my head sore every day. But sometimes would you stop hitting me with your paw? Um you just farted too. Um yeah, so about ten years. Right, Arya, go and lie down. Um ten years I've had daily migraines, so I've had um I test MRIs and all this and they came up with this thing that I had chronic daily migraines. So I do get migraines. I have a sore head nearly every day, but now and again this I would have a really, like a really bad migraine and whenever that happens I have to sit in a dark room. Can't have any lights on, phones on, can't read or anything. I have to sit in a dark room for at least half an hour till an hour. Until it goes away to take my painkillers. Um, I take naproxen for my uh, migraines. And I don't really like taking them because they make me feel sick sometimes. So on Sunday in work I took this really weird thing whenever I was serving a customer. Um, that you can't focus on anything. And like round here, round the outside of your uh, eyes is all like sparkly and it moves. It's the only description I can say. It's like being, and you know, in one of those weird tunnels that everything's moving and it's all like different colours and all. Yeah, that's the way my head went on Sunday in work. Um, I couldn't even focus on anything. And whenever I was putting stuff out up from the delivery, I had to actually ask one of the, the girl I was working with to see if I could find it because I couldn't actually focus on anything. And... Went from break about quarter past four, my 15 minute break. So about half four, I think it actually went, it was 20 past four, I went on break and then I came off it again at 25 to five. I start, finished work at six. So I went in, I couldn't look at my phone or anything and I just sat with my eyes closed for 15 minutes. So that kind of helped it a bit. There was the next fella was coming, but because we do obviously do shift work in our in our work in the Eurospar, 
The next one came in at five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock he came in. I tried to talk to him. I couldn't, I couldn't speak. I couldn't get the words out the way I wanted it to. So I kind of <laughs> had to stop speaking for a while to try and get out what I wanted to say. Which was <laughs> really weird and really frustrating because I knew what I wanted to say but it actually wouldn't come out. So came home, had my dinner in bed. Didn't post a video that day because I, ju I just couldn't. Um, so that brings us to today. That was a very long... <sighs> spill, wasn't it? But anyway, my head's not as bad today. It was okay on Monday. I took an approximate on whenever I came home from work on Sunday. Monday, my head wasn't too, as bad. It was still a bit... Wishy washy, and my morning, our eyes decided to lick her paws. So, yeah, today is Wednesday, if I've already said it's the 25th today. I have wrote on my book the 24th because it is my way day. I did weigh myself yesterday, but I've started a new book today because my other one finished, obviously. So, yeah, I am 14 6 this week. I put three pounds on, and this is week. 202 so I get these wee books from home bargains Um, it's very hard to get these books in home bargains because sometimes they don't have them in stock and they only have them in stock like certain times of the year Um, they usually bring them out in January but last year I didn't get them I think it was like July August time whenever I got them so I got four or five of them because I knew the rightly they would be in stock of you so it's just they have different they have two different covers on them, so this is the one I'm using at the moment. Which are they're quite handy. I think they're one one ninety nine, I wanna say. They're not any more than three pound anyway. Yeah, so this is the inside and they've got the, your healthy A and healthy B at the top there, and then your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then you it's a good way they've done it because it, it goes to fifteen and then your fifteen sins. And then your two litres of water, which I always drink anyway. They have got like shopping lists and stuff in them and your exercise and your... All the whole rest of it. Um, and then what you aim to do and stuff. And then you've got your measurements as well. I measured myself at the start. Well, and it wasn't the start. It was like two or three months in. I uh, measured myself. So if you... Are thinking about um starting some kind of weight loss, whether it's slim world, calorie counting, whatever. Um, I would advise you to do your measurements. As I say, there's your arms, your waist, your hips, and your thighs. There, you can measure wherever you want, I suppose. Like, but um, yeah, and then it gives you the date, and then there's like, I think you're supposed to do it um monthly, no weekly, because there's twelve weeks in this. So I think you're supposed to do it every week. But anyway, I done it the first time and then I just didn't do it again. But anyway, that is it from me today. Um, I don't think there's anything else exciting to say. I don't think so. I'm working tonight, as I said. And then Flutie Ann's mummy and Dally's coming home tomorrow. And she's last sleeping here. In my blanket. Let's see if I'm trying. Turn your eye and let you see her. Oh, that's slippers there. Can you see her? Oh God, let me back. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, so I'm gonna go now and just chill out because I'm working tonight. I need to get a shower and get my hair washed. Get my hair done next week, which I cannot wait. But yeah, that is it for me today. Hope you all have a good week ahead of you. And hopefully I have a good week too because I need to really get kick myself up the ass and start again. And get into the mood, get into the swing of it. Because I've done this mistake last year. Um, it was Christmas and my birthday and then Nate's birthday, Valentine's Day and then Alex's birthday. But I want to get into it. I want to lose £8 by Ned's birthday, which is the 27th of February. 
and then the following week is Alex's birthday. Hers is on the seventh of March. Um, and then we're going up to the caravan. Uh, St. Paddy's Day, whenever that is, can't remember. So yeah, I'm gonna go now and chill out for a bit, and maybe get a shower. Maybe get a shower now and then chill out. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I will see you next week for my weigh-in update. If you're just here for it, and if you're here for my what I eat in a day, I will post it later on for you. See you later. Bye.